Ashley Babbitt really isn't worth a full video, so we're also going to talk about the George Santos superseding indictment that happened. The corner people couldn't leave the flowers on the steps today. They looked angry when they went around in a circle together, and then they walked around leaving a trail of flowers as litter that then got picked up by people. They considered this a big win. Of course, when a member of the group returned back following their path, all the flowers were gone. One member of the corner just realized today non-Americans can buy property in the U.S. And from the sounds of it, seems to think that this started with Joe Biden completely out of touch. He's going to love when he finds out about all the Republican areas that have just given swaths of America's resources to places like Saudi Arabia to the detriment of Americans. He's going he's gonna to love that when he finds out. So what we have behind me is Congressman George Santos charged with conspiracy, wire fraud, false statements, falsification of records, aggravated identity theft, and credit card fraud. Santos allegedly filed fraudulent fundraising reports with the FEC to obtain financial support for his campaign and repeatedly charged credit cards of campaign contributors without authorization. This is the big one in my opinion. Him charging campaign contributors without authorization is something that will have a negative effect on Republicans trying to raise money in the future, which makes me think that now, at this point, they might actually make some moves to get rid of him. A 23-count superseding indictment was filed today in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of New York, charging George Anthony DeVolder Santos, better known as George Santos, the United States Representative for the 3rd District of New York, with one count of conspiracy to commit offenses against the United States, two counts of wire fraud, two counts of uh, making materially false statements to the Federal Election Commission, two counts of falsifying records submitted to obstruct the FEC, two counts of aggravated identity theft, and one count of access device fraud, in addition to the seven counts of wire fraud, three counts of money laundering, one count of theft of public funds, and two counts of making materially false statements to the United States House of Representatives that were charged in the original indictment. Santos is due back in federal court in Central Islip on October 27th, 2023. Wow. No wonder he supported Jim Jordan for speaker. He's good at cover-ups. Uh, Brian Peace, U.S. State's Attorney General for the Eastern District of New York, and there's just a bunch of names of who's involved. As alleged, Santos is charged with stealing people's identities and making charges on his own donors' credit cards without their authorization. Lying to the FEC and by extension the public about the financial state of his campaign, Santos falsely inflated the campaign's reported receipts with non-existent loans and contributions that were either fabricated or stolen, stated United States Attorney General Peace. This office will relentlessly pursue criminal charges against anyone who uses the electoral process as an opportunity to defraud the public and our government institutions. And also, if you look into the evidence, it includes things like text messages. It really looks like he's just done. Like, I, the thing is, Republicans are going to defend a lot because they want to have that extra R. They want to have no questions asked. They have that R. The issue is he defrauded donors using their credit cards without authorization. That can hurt all Republicans personally. So now they'll probably care. Only now. 